And we are rolling up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pads of the pinky and the thumb. We'll go down to the wrists, up to the knuckles and across. And keeping the ball in the palms, interlace the fingers and squeeze. Release, squeeze. Release and squeeze. Let's toss the ball up or bounce it on the floor or both. Three, two, one, leave the wall on the floor, assess the feet, and step on the ball, pressing down three times in the middle of the foot. Bring the ball up to the knuckles, press it once on each. Roll across the knuckles. Roll across the top of the heel. Bring the ball to the middle of the foot, wiggle the toes. Press the toes into the ball. Raise and separate. Press again. Wiggle again. And scribble. Three, two, one. Release, reassess, repeat. Press three times. Knuckles. Roll across. Roll across the top of the heel. Bring to the middle of the foot, wiggle the toes. Press the toes into the ball. Raise and separate. Press again. Wiggle again. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, get the ball out of the way, reassess how the feet feel. And let's do some foot chops through the middle. You can bring your hands just up to here. Then in diagonally from one side to the other. And then start on the other side.
men shake the tree. Three, two, one, center. Press it to waist. Swing the arms. And center with ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Step out to one side. Gather in starlight. Center. And gather from the other side. And center. Take some steps forward. And then knee to the opposite elbow. Slap the opposite heel in the front. And behind. And then take a cross step with a twist and a punch. And walk, march, or jog. We're going to do our seated set today. We will do 10 sit to stands. Bit of a modified squat. If you want to do squats anyway, go right ahead. I think I'll uh, hop. And uh, we'll do some yin yoga after class.
All right, I'm going to get started. Whatever you do, of course, be safe. In five, four, three, two, one, two. Ten. Fourteen. And thirty. Two breaths. They interlace the fingers, bring the hands up, reach for the sky, come up on your toes if you can. Back down, bend back if you can. Come back to center, drop one hand, bend in that direction. And then go the other way. Interlace the fingers at the top again. Come down to the chest, push out. Come on down, interlace the fingers behind the back, raise the hands up, squeeze the shoulder blades. Go a little higher. And come down and shrug. And then uh, let's swim. And a backstroke. And a breaststroke. Tap the shoulders. And bring one arm across, push in. And then the other. First arm behind the back, press down and in. And then the other. Grab both elbows, rock side to side. Put your fists on your temples, bring your elbows forward and back. Come on down, form an L. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold. Release. Squeeze. Release. And squeeze. Release. Rotate the neck. Go the other way. Mm 
not. And go ear to shoulders. And then bring one arm over the top of the head, cup the ear, look up, chin up, tug gently. And then chin down. Same thing in the other direction, chin up. And down. Oh, back through center, tuck in that chin and peck like a pigeon. And then uh, let us grab a stick. Inside the arch of one foot, other leg comes out to the side. Bend that knee, slide down the stick. Stretch the inductors. Go the other way. Come on up, bring the stick out in front, bring the toes about six inches away, drop the stick to the top of the collarbone, slide down, lift the sole of the foot and wiggle. Press the sole of that foot against the stick. And repeat with the other leg. Hamstring. And cat. Come on up. Bring the stick to the middle, hold on with two hands, one hand or a finger or two, step back, come up on your toes and hold for about 20. And then go back on your heels. And come on down. And now we're going to do Dr. Lee's dynamic stick routine. Stick on the top of the shoulder is twist at the waist. And if you want to and can, bring in some steps. Be careful. And then bring the stick up overhead, go side to side. And then blow the waist side to side. Then on one side, back and forth.
and the other side. And then come front and paddle the kayak. Reverse. And then bring the stick up to the shoulders and flop the wrists. And then come below the waist and back to the shoulders. And above and below. Stop at the shoulders, reverse the grip, flop the wrists. Come on down. And above. Drop at the shoulders, bring a stick behind again. And do some step ups, 10 on each side if you can. Go only as high as feels safe for you. Same thing with the hip rotations. Play it safe. All right, let's put the stick down and grab a chair. We are going to do 10 sit to stands. I'm gonna move my arms around, but you don't have to. You can keep them where you feel safest. Whatever works for you. Down and up. All right, sit down. Take a breath or two. We're going to be in the middle of the chair. We're going to put our arms up. Come forward about 45 degrees and back, keeping the core engaged. And then cross your arms, still in the middle of the chair, tap the back of the chair. And then let's pound some grapes, either with both feet at the same time or alternating or doing both. And 
and then sit back, raise both feet off the ground and kick. And come on back down. Put one foot on the ground, sole on the ground, the other foot crossed over, and rotate at the ankle. Switch directions. Point towards and away from the shin. And then lean forward, hinge forward, press on the knee as you do. All right, come back up, put that foot down, lift the other one up, rotate. Go the other way. Point towards and away. And then lean on that knee. Hey, come on back up, put both feet on the Floor, press your palms together in prayer position and push. One hand on top of the other, grab your fingers and pull. And go the other way. Up the biceps. And turn sideways in the chair. Grab the back of the chair. Twist and look over your rear shoulder. Release. Again. Release. One more time. And release. Go the other way. Over the back shoulder, release. Again, release and twist. And release. Let's uh, spread our legs apart and go towards the toes. Don't have to touch it. And come on up, and we'll do our breath. We're doing bellows breath. In through the nose, quickly, about a second. Out through the mouth, quickly, about a second. And we do 10 rapid ones. And then we're going to breathe normally for two breaths, and then we're going to do another 10. You do it sitting down or standing up if you want. If you do it standing up, if you feel lightheaded, definitely sit down. Here we go.
And take a few breaths. And we're going to do it again in three, two, one. Take a few breaths before you stand up. Make sure you're able to stand without feeling dizzy. Put the chair to the side and rub those hands together to cultivate Uri Chi Prana, life force energy. Form of that chi ball. And centering, two breaths. We're going to open our hearts. Pause on this inhale, exhale, send it out. Center with two breaths. And bring down chi from above. And gather it from below. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you, Tom. Oh, you're welcome, Mira. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your dinner, I hope. <laughs> Thanks. And Thanks, Tom. You're welcome, Nina. Whoa. Thank you, Tom. On camera. See you Monday. Uh, hold on. I will give you all a smile. In a second. There we go. Hello, Bill. Hello, and have a good weekend. All right, you too, sir. Thanks. Thank you. Going to do some yin yoga here. Today's quotation. Fear may come true that which one is afraid of. Victor Frankl. What's that in English? Go ahead, try again. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. I fear it's gone. All right. We're going to do Zen Yoga 9. I will be in cat position in 15 seconds. We'll move the camera to the floor. Yeah. Cobra.
Red the leader. Right. 
Please be clear. Have a great weekend and see you on Monday.